Hi Libra, it's CJ here from CJ Soul Messages. I hope you're doing really well today. I am going to do a reading for you from November 19th to the 25th, um, 2021, um, of course. It will be a general read and it's not going to apply to every one of you. So please just take what does and let the rest go. Uh, as well as this is just a general reading. So it's, um, it's not female or male specific. It's just going to be the energies of the cards. Apply that where it may fit. Um, I am in front of this camera, which I'm really not that comfortable with being, but because my webcam died. So my apologies that probably the sound isn't great and the, the, the actual um, how it looks isn't probably going to be very great, but I'm just going to continue to get the messages out there. So I really do appreciate you being here. Let's get started. All right, let's pull one card out from the Moonology. Um, and I figured because, you know, we have this new moon, no, full moon. I keep saying new moon. I don't know why, but it's a full moon on the 19th of November in Taurus. And as well, we also have the partial lunar eclipse. Um, so that's going to be really kind of cool. I mean, I think it's a blood moon, so it is going to be looking kind of red that night, which I think is really kind of very interesting. So that's why I've chosen to use the Monology deck to get a card to get this reading started. Okay, so Libra, let's just get right into it. Okay, one card. All right, we're running. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. Can, I hope you can see this. It's just... Mm. Kind of. It's really pretty though. It's like beautiful purple. It kind of looks like it's blue on my screen, but it isn't. It is a beautiful healing purple kind of color. Um, I love this. This is really, this is pretty transformative and powerful. A time for healing is suggesting that you've gone through a time in your life recently, um, or maybe it's happened quite a ways in your past. Um, but there is a need for you to heal something, some part of yourself, Maybe it's a relationship, maybe it is uh, something to do with a family, but just to allow some healing to come in, maybe maybe things have been really heightened. And um, when I say heightened, I mean maybe everything's been really dramatic and, and um, feeling kind of almost over the top where you're unable to see clearly. So this healing has to come in to allow um, space for new beautiful things to come into your world, Libra. So let's see, let's start with the tarot. <clears throat> I am going to do a three card spread and I'm going to get one card for your past, one card for your present, one card for your future. Now, um, as well as, you know, time is fluid. So this reading may apply to you differently. I mean, what is coming out as past might be something that you're literally going through right now. Um, you know, and as far as future, we all have freedom of uh, free will. So, you know, we can change it if we don't like the outcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. All right, we got page of coins in your past. The world in the present. Interesting. And the devil in the future. Hmm, okay. Three of wands is underneath the deck. Okay, so Libra, um, interesting because we have something closing out here, but then we have the devil energy, which is, you know, um, for your future, that's kind of, I would say that there is something here that you need to be careful on not giving away your own control. So let's work through this. Page of coins is showing up um, for your past. Pages are the youngest in the deck, and this is coins, so it is our money, um, but it is also our self-confidence or self-worth, how we feel about ourselves. Um, page of coins, it's a beautiful energy because it's really kind of fresh, new, um, can mean messages, maybe a message came in um, to do with something, maybe some kind of money situation um, <coughs> in your past, and 
you were really excited about it because the Page of Coins is pretty excited about this new venture that they're going to be going on. Might not have the idea of how they're going to get there or um, what direction they're going to go, but they're still very excited about it. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, so that is in your past. So there was something in your past that you were very excited about uh, that I feel like you really believed in and um, that you got extremely, uh, you wanted to put a lot of effort and energy into it. The world shows up in your present as in the world is about completion. Um, the world is about one cycle ending and a new one beginning. Now it is a beautiful card as we all go through many cycles in our life. Oh, if we're lucky enough to be here long enough, right? Um, we go through a lot of a lot of different cycles, and they have to close out in order for a new one to open up. Now, that is interesting because a time for healing has shown up. So I feel almost like something happened in your past that kind of let you down. It didn't manifest the way you had imagined it to be, and. Um, all that excitement and all that energy that you maybe were putting into it, whether it's career or relationship or whatever this is for you, um, you were very excited about it. You had a lot of faith and belief that it was going to amount to a lot more. But it feels like maybe it didn't because the world is coming in to say you got to close that chapter out so that you can start something new and something different, something better for you. Um, and there is this need to heal yourself or maybe someone else um, to, to bring healing in so that this cycle can close up. Uh, the devil showing up though is very interesting as a future card because normally the devil is like, you know, being in bondage and um, can be addictions, uh, but it can basically just being held captive either by your own accord or by someone else's. So a little interesting read here, Libra, because it feels like this chapter, this, this, whatever this page of coins is representing in your past is needing to be closed out. But I almost feel like there is this hesitation maybe to let it close out you know because the devil is saying that someone is wanting to hold on to control here um i'm going to pull some clarifiers on this but this healing needs to happen and it can't really happen if someone's still trying to control everything under the deck, we have the three of wands. This is making movement. Wands is fire. Uh, it is our passions are um, the things that we, you know, it's it's going after the things that we really want. And three of wands is making progress on that. Underneath that, you have the emperor, which is very powerful. The emperor is in control of himself, male or female, right? So, um... There's something here about the devil energy that in your future position that um, maybe you just need to take a look at and make sure that you're not controlling anything too much. Make sure that someone else isn't controlling you too much so that you can continue on moving forward in the way that you want to. Um, and so that you remain in control of your own self, your own destiny, as in the emperor. Let's see if we can get some clarifiers here. Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Three of Swords. <coughs> okay. So Libra, the Hermit. All right. Hermit's on the bottom of the deck. So that's a need to take some time out here um, to really 
to really get uh, some clear perspective here. So Libra, this isn't going to apply to every one of you guys, but I do feel like this devil energy, um, the three of swords is showing up. I feel like the devil energy is maybe trying to come back into your future. I'll put it that way. Um, I am feeling like this is talking about some kind of committed relationship um, that was a committed relationship um, and that you thought was stable or the other person the other party thought it was stable at one time, but it wasn't because the three of swords is showing up and three of swords is like heartbreak. Swords is our communication, how we communicate with each other and ourselves. It's our intellect. It's our mind. But the three of swords is pain, um, can be betrayal, can be, you know, someone has cheated on you, um, could be the other way around, third party, threes, um, and I'm wondering if this is, you're trying to close out a cycle. You're trying to close out a cycle. But I feel like someone doesn't want it to be closed out. Maybe someone keeps, keeps trying, maybe someone has a control over top of you. Well, I'm trying to keep this really short, um, but I want to get the message out. So someone's trying to come back and trying to control some part of your life so that this cycle can't close out and interesting because we have the five of wands that came out too and this is all about conflict this is conflict and pettiness and just wanting the fight to continue on regardless just for the fact of it go to, to stay in control so i do feel like someone is representing that energy to you libra um we have the queen of pentacles that came out this is gorgeous. So I actually feel like we're talking about two different people here, you and another. Queen of Pentacles is our earth element, um, you know, and this is, again, I said about coins, this is our money and everything, but this is also our own integrity, our own, the way we feel about ourselves. Sometimes the way we don't, the, the, like the lack of um, confidence that we may have. Um, but she's very grounded and she doesn't really get stressed about anything. She's grounded. She's nurturing. She is um, at peace. She is very relaxed here. She's just full trust, full trust that she will be taken care of, that she has a capability of taking care of herself, self, and um, she's very loving. So... I feel like there's a need to let this healing come in, but that is kind of difficult if it is someone else who's in control here. Um, you need to stay very grounded. Like Libra, you are the scales. You are the balance. So you are needing to stay very grounded, even though you are the air sign. But you're needing to stay very clear-headed here. Um, and I mean, you can't make someone do anything. So if you're trying to move on and you're trying to close out a cycle and you're trying to, you know, uh, move in a different direction as, you know, the three of wands is indicating here, but I feel like someone doesn't want you to, someone doesn't want you to move on. And they almost kind of, it almost feels kind of like they enjoy seeing you in turmoil. Um, not letting this cycle close out for some damn reason, which is really not healthy. Man. Okay, let's see. I want to see what else. Okay, so the hermit is on the bottom of the deck. <coughs> Excuse me. So the hermit is saying you need to, like, take some time away, some time out. I'm trying to get it as clear as I can here. Can you see that? This is like you need to, I feel like you need to get away get away. And as I say that, three of wands is underneath, which is totally, again, two, three of wands. You've got it here and you've got it here. Um, I do appreciate this picture on here though, because this is someone who has made a decision to move on one way or the other and is no longer like just thinking about it, making the plan. They are actually making the movement. So that being underneath the hermit is really suggesting that you got to make some moves here um, wow, and then you have death underneath that. 
and then you have the world again. So we have two worlds coming up here in this reading, Libra, and two three of wands. Okay, so you kind of almost need to do whatever you need to do using your, making sure you're healing yourself here. Um, because death and rebirth, this has to die out now. This has got to stop because the cycle needs to end. So, you know, for some of you, maybe someone's dragging you through hell and high water to punish you. I'm, I just, I'm kind of getting that feeling here. Um, and as I said, how can you make them heal? How can you bring healing into the situation if they are, if they don't want it? So the only thing that you can do, and actually this is a huge thing, you can regain your control. Remember the emperor's under here? Um, you can really stay in control of yourself and work on healing yourself. So maybe you don't react to whatever this is representing um, to you. Because spirit is giving you a warning here, basically, in the future. And I don't, and I don't mean to scare you or anything, but there is a, a, there's a notice here of like, um, if someone's heart was broken, some kind of betrayal, whoever the other person is, um, is really kind of almost want, I feel like they're kind of wanting to make you pay. They're wanting to make you pay for as long as it takes and they don't want it to close out. So the power you have here is to really work on healing yourself, um, and really distancing yourself, be that hermit, really distancing yourself. If that means cutting off your phone, blocking someone, you know, you don't have to do it meanly, but you, you deserve to have some time on your own to bring so that you can heal. Um, that may just kind of close this down because a lot of times if people don't get the reaction that they want after a while, the spark just dies out. They're, they're just not, they don't put that same effort in. Um, wow. So let me just have one more look the world four of cups it's like you you're stuck the hangman again well we don't oh no hangman and the hermit okay let's i just want to see if there's anything else spirit can you give me one card to kind of wrap this reading up for libra um but before i do that libra if this is making sense to you and someone is really kind of goading you all the time and it is um you know it's stopping you from being able to heal and move forward you then have to change the way that you're handling this. You have the power to change how you react or how you just don't react. Because as I said, you know, there are some individuals out there that will, for some reason, they don't want the healing. They just want to keep, they just want to keep the torment going. So, okay, Spirit, please, one card for Libra to actually kind of wrap up this reading for them for this next week of November. Well, yeah, I don't really want to take these. Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, okay? So that's just saying, what are you getting out of this? Are you getting anything out of this? So maybe you do need to kind of consider that. Is there anything that you're holding on to? Um, and then the other card was the five of swords, which is again, conflict battles, no one hearing each other, winning at whatever costs it co like whatever it costs the other person. It doesn't matter. Just wanting to be right. Wanting to win all the time. <clears throat> okay. Let's go one more time. Wow. Everything is just popping up. <coughs> let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So this is positive for being the card that just came out to kind of wrap this all up. Um, yeah. If you can distance yourself emotionally, mentally, maybe even physically, that is going to stop this energy from continuing on and on and on. And it's going to allow this to close out. And you're going to get some healing from it. Ace of Pentacles. So this is a beautiful promise of a brand new beginning with your finances, but as well as how you feel about yourself. Um, there could be some money coming in to you that maybe helps to cut this off so that you can close this out. 
because Ace of Pentacles is and does speak about a windfall. It can be an inheritance. It could be a lawsuit. It could be, um, you know, anything like that. A big sum of money coming towards you that maybe helps to wrap this whole situation up. That's what I'm getting here, Libra. Um, and just make sure with... You know, when the Five of Swords came out and the Seven of um, Pentacles came out, just make sure that you're being really clear with yourself that you're not invested in keeping this going either maybe out of guilt or um, or maybe in the hopes that it's going to get better because the Page of Cups is on the bottom of the deck and the Page of Cups is that energy that is just in love with love, but feet are not on the ground. They are in the air here. So this is not... A energy that is grounded and it's kind of like flighty a bit so don't be fooled is what I want to say to you don't be fooled because this reading is definitely saying that something really needs to be closed out and there's got to be healing brought in here um, totally there's got to be some healing brought in to get things going in a different direction so Libra, with that, I'm going to close it off. I'm going to pull one card from the treasure of Takashi. Wow, kind of a, a heavier rating, but remember, it is only for a week. Um, so just hang on there. Hang on. Keep your integrity about you. And um, if someone else is having control over you, you got to make that decision to take your power back. Growth. Okay. Growth has come out. <clears throat> All movement is growth. Acknowledge your growth, and as you do, you will find your pathway changes and expands. Do not judge it. You have grown beyond old directions, so perhaps you are ready to do something new. Okay, so there we go. Spirit is saying time to do something new. Because, I, you know, it just feels like you maybe have been... Um, maybe kind of naive to this energy and you've been kind of maybe going along with it, hoping that it was going to bring peace and healing into it. But I just, it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen because whoever, whatever this represents to you, I don't feel like they are wanting that. They find some kind of enjoyment keeping you in their clutches. Um, so, you need to do things differently. That's where your power lies here. And you may get some help financially that is going to even help this cycle close out even quicker than, um, than it appears to be doing at this moment. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I do hope there's something in here that helps you along this path in this, as you are on this journey. Um, remember it is only a weekly, so uh, just let it unfold, but really take time out for you. Um, heal yourself. Heal yourself first. Because if you heal yourself first, then no one can have any kind of power over you at all. So, keep that in your forefront. Alright, so take really good care of yourself. If there's something here that you do resonate with, please leave me a like, subscribe, let me know what's happening in your life. I'd love to hear from you. And plus it also gives back to me to let me know that I am making some kind of difference here. It's good karma. So thank you again. And until next time, I do wish you a really positive week. Just stay strong and stay centered and stay focused in you. All right. Take care, Libra.